Houdini 20.5 is out and with it comes a new node that allows us to quickly and easily assign materials inside Solaris. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's drop down a SOP create just to give us some geometry and we'll do a rubber toy and we'll just disable our shader there. I've actually got this pen, let's unpen that. So normally we would do a like a material library node and then we create our materials in here and then assign them either with this or with the material linker or we'd go straight to a material linker and use something like the material X library from AMD to assign materials to our geometry. But with Houdini 20.5, we have this new quick surface material. And this node has all of the settings basically exposed to us. So it doesn't give you as much control necessarily as you would have inside of a material builder, but you still have access to all of the, basically all the settings that you would need to build a basic material. So we can play around with these, but we need to assign this first. So let's do an assign material and let's drag in our SOP create for the primitive and then our quick surface material for the material path. And then let's just create a camera here and then we'll do the new update to the Karma Physical Sky. Let's turn off our light visualization there and let's just set this to XBU. And now we have our rubber toy geometry here and we can come into our quick surface material and come to this color and we can start to change this and you can see that it is updating accordingly. But if we wanted to use texture maps for this, we would need to come in here to this color map for the base color and we'll do set or create. And there's a bunch of them for each individual thing. So like the specular, we have, you know, our transmission has one, All a bunch of these have the different maps normally where you'd plug them in. Um, you would have this color map option. And once we have that enabled, you see that we have this UV texture grid being applied to our geometry. And you could change this to be, you know, whatever texture on disk that you want, or we can use a cop net. So we can do this one of two ways. So we can drop down a cop net like this, and we can drop down maybe a null with a fractal noise, and then not dive into that. Drop down a ramp. RGB and we can plug our noise into the position there and we can plug that ramp into our output and we'll call this something like base color and then we can set this ramp to be you know maybe I don't know uh, inferno and we could mess around with some of these settings to get something a little bit different and then we can come back up to our quick surface material here and we can get rid of this and we'll type OP colon uh, slash and then we'll do our stage and then our cop net and then we would do base color so once we've done that you see that we have our base color is now pulling in from that cop net now if you don't want to do this from scratch you don't have to so i can go ahead and get rid of that we can come back in here and we can get rid of that because you'll have to assign everything you have to create a null for everything or and just assign everything as needed or you can come into this little button right here and you can click that. And it's gonna go ahead and create a cop network for us with our null set up with something applied. So it's basically the same thing you see that's being applied here to our material. But now if we wanted to add something in for say our specular, we could come into this color map, we can set our create there and we can click that button again and it's gonna automatically set up that path for us. And it's just gonna add another one into our already existing cop net which is pretty nice and then again we can maybe drop down a fractal noise here and we can wire that in to that and now it's kind of hard to tell but we have our object being updated let's go ahead let's go down to like our bump and we could do a height and then we'll go ahead and click that and let's just wire in our fractal noise for that as well and we can come back in here and set this to true displacements. And we could set this to maybe like, I don't know, 0.1 or something. And you can see that it's being blown up uh, a little bit more than maybe we would like. We play around with the fractal noise. Looks like it is freezing here for a second. There we go. So play with this, maybe crank up the amplitude, pull down the center and maybe crank up the contrast or something. And now we get something a little bit more harsh and different. 
But that is a quick rundown of the quick surface material. Uh, there's not really too much different about it compared to just building materials from scratch. Uh, but this just allows you to do it on the lap level, which can be nice if you're just trying to assign things quickly. You don't necessarily need the fine level of control that you'd have inside of a material builder. And if, or maybe you're just using, uh, you know, cops to, to build your, your textures, you can just dive into the cop nuts and make the changes that you need. And you don't necessarily need to have all of that uh, level of control that you'd have inside of the material builder because you have that already inside of the cop net. So use this as you see fit. Uh, but that is a, a quick rundown of that. I will be going over more features of Houdini 20.5. So stay tuned for all of that if you're interested. Uh, seeing the new features in Houdini 20.5. We'll definitely be taking a look at COPS quite a bit, so, or the new Copernicus, whatever you want to call it. We'll be taking a look at that quite a bit. So stay tuned for all that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.